Hey guys, it's Lisa. So I'm here at Disneyland today and I came here with the intention of just getting some lunch and having a casual little afternoon. But then I walked past World of Disney and I saw that they had new merch. So we're gonna circle back and go look at that merch. But food first and maybe some other treats along the way. Ooh, and maybe a ride. Who knows, we're just gonna have a nice casual little Disney day. So come along with me, let's hang out and let's head inside. First, I have to give you the important updates that have to happen. One, the sun is shining. Look, it is shining, the sky is clear and bright, but then also I am wearing the ears that I got here last time. These came just for the Disney 100. Like, it's a new collection, 100 years of music and wonder. It doesn't really roll off the tongue, I feel like. But anyway, I am so excited. But I do also have the hat with me because it is so sunny and bright. I should actually wear the hat now, but I just, I was super excited about the ears. But anyway, lunch. I'm really hungry. <laughs> balloons. Look, I love the balloons, especially if it is a red travel balloon. Although, sadly, there's like no bluster really in the air. It's not really a Winnie the Pooh kind of day. But the other thing I was going to say is that I feel very bad and I apologize now because I feel like all my videos start out the same. All my videos are kind of the same, right? But I feel like I always give you the update. I always show you the sky. I always show you my ears. So, uh, yeah. Anyway, okay, let's go into California Adventure. <laughs> what I've come across. Yes, all of the travel balloons, all the wonderful red, well, okay, there's a multitude of colors. I thought it was about to hit me. Um, but the bluster came. I think maybe because I said there was no bluster, the bluster was like, um, I'm here. So it is officially a Winnie the Pooh type of day because of this. Balloons, bluster, Winnie the Pooh. Oh, bother. The bluster is really going. I know there's like no palm trees around for you to see, but just know it's like in the air. It's happening right now, a very blustery type of day. And I was thinking about where to get lunch and I was like, wait a minute, I should go somewhere that I haven't been in a really long time, somewhere really good. So, Lamplight Lounge is where we're gonna go. And there's technically two restaurants, so you can go to Lamplight Lounge, with its seats right there and right there, or you can go to Lamplight Lounge Boardwalk Dining. And they actually have different menus. So I will see, I'm gonna see how long the wait is. Really quickly, I wanted to show you how to join the walk-up list for any of the restaurants because that's what I'm about to do right now. And yes, I am inside of knickknacks, okay? It's cause it's air conditioned. But anyway, when you go to the Disneyland app, when you are at the map option, it automatically goes to attractions, but we want dining. So you use the top menu right there. And then we want to go right here to boardwalk dining so when you select it you just put in how many people etc etc let's see is it it's gonna take a second or two maybe but either way okay this is how you would do it you just hit join walk up list you answer a couple questions see right there you're gonna say however many people continue continue and then you get notified on your phone but i also want to show you in case you want to go somewhere for instance look the regular lamplight lounge when you say join walk-up list, it's gonna say that it's full, right? So if you do want somewhere that's like full, you just have to keep refreshing. That's the hot tip. You just keep refreshing and you have a pretty good chance of getting in. So I'm on the walk-up list and it's only 10 minutes. They usually call you much faster than what it says. So they'll probably call us in like five minutes. But I just wanted to point this out. I just think they're very entertaining. Aren't they so cute? And if you bought one, I feel like you would need, I don't know, you would need all of them. They're $18 each. How much would this cost to buy them all and have them in your home? I like them. <laughs> or, 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 you could get, I just sounded like the seagulls. Mine, mine. Or, or, you can get a big bucket of little green men. Wait, this is kind of cool. Do we like this or the plushies more? I don't know. They all look, ooh, this one comes with a rocket. Okay, the plushies don't come with the rockets. How much is this? $19.99. This is infinitely entertaining. I love this. Buzz is kind of having a hard time right now. That's okay. Um, he is Buzz Lightyear. He will get back up soon. But you know who's not having a hard time? Socks. Also, Zerg. A few moments later. This is my view from the table. Isn't it spectacular? This is so, so cool. And also we have a nice cool breeze. Oh wait, I meant to say a bluster. A nice bluster. And we get to hear the Incredicoaster going by and all the people screaming. Love it. Oh, and there's a musical performance, it sounds like. 
Oh, it's the Green Army Men. They're going by. I don't know if you can see that. But yes, okay, so the boardwalk dining is only this upper area, and then the regular Lamplight Lounge is down there, and it's also inside. And they do have slightly dissimilar menus, so they are a little bit different, but I'll show you. So here's the menu, Lamplight Lounge Boardwalk Dining, and look at this, Imagination Land. We love that. But then let me show you. So this is like a little bit of an abbreviated menu compared to the full Lamplight Lounge experience. So these are some of the mocktails. No, these are actual cocktails. The cocktails are spectacular. And then we have some wine. And then the non-alcoholic mocktails are also really good. Maybe I'll get one. Let's see, more cocktails, more beer and wine. And then the food is back here. So let's see, shorts to share. Okay, so for instance, the one thing that you can't get at the regular Lamplight Lounge are the barbacoa nachos. We are definitely ordering those. And curried cauliflower, actually they have those over at the regular Lamplight Lounge. But Angus beef sliders, that sounds good. Ooh, warm and cheesy dip. Okay, it's kind of a warm day. I don't know if like warm and cheesy dip is a, is my style right now. And then of course they have the kids menu, which I love the kids menu, but not today. Hmm, okay, what am I gonna get? So I got myself a little mocktail, and to be honest, listen, it does not look that appetizing, okay? I know, I know, it doesn't look that good. But it was the first thing I saw on the menu, I was like, um, I'll get that, sure. So this is a 2319. This is a frozen mocktail made with strawberry puree, cream of coconut and pineapple juice, and it's topped with Coca-Cola. I know, okay, listen. You're like, Lisa, why did you order this? I don't know, I, it was, it sounded interesting and unique, and here it is. I do like the lime garnish, you know? That part is nice, but I guess I'll taste it. Let's cross our fingers, maybe it's good. Okay, I know the background is like really bright and maybe it doesn't look the best, but that's okay. It's still pretty and I'm enjoying it, but this drink looks kind of unappetizing, don't you think? It's, it looks like murky, like it's like murky water down there, but I ordered it, you know? Splash of Coke and all, so I'll try it. It's not that bad. Kind of pineapple-y, kind of, you can definitely taste like the cream of coconut. I don't know if you can taste the Coke. It's not bad. Would I order it again? Maybe not. But still, it's fun and just ignore the fact that it looks like dingy, murky water. Yay, okay, so the food got here and look at how big this is. So these are the spotlight nachos, barbacoa, and they have chili spiced beef barbacoa and house made tortilla chips with pinto bean puree, spicy tomatillo salsa, onions, cilantro, chipotle cheese sauce, queso fresco, and pickled jalapenos. And I am so excited. This looks incredible. Look at those crispy little chips. Yeah, let's dig in. I have had these before, but I haven't had them in a really long time, and I got the most intense looking chip that I could find. It has a little bit of everything, and it's it's very heavy. It's like hefty, but let's take a bite. That is really good, and I, I think we all expected it, right? That it was gonna be really good, but yes, amazing, and my favorite part is that the chips are really, really thick and crispy, like really, really thick, so they can hold all of the weight of all the stuff on top, because there's a lot going on. And then the barbacoa does have a little bit of spice. If you like hate spice, this will probably be like, uh, no, it's like, it's very mildly spicy. And I also like the cheese sauce. I like that they included, it was like cheese sauce instead of it being like actual cheese. I, I like that part, and I know not everyone one does but I do and all the flavors just go really well together I'm into it and the you know the meat is like hefty this is like a good hefty meal and you can definitely split this like I didn't even need to get a second dish but you know I wanted to but yes very very hefty the second thing that I ordered, this is the curried cauliflower. It has tzatziki, pickled golden raisins, lemon harissa, toasted pine nuts, and cilantro. Looks very good. They've been testing all of the World of Color fountains this entire time. It's been very entertaining. But anyway, okay, let's try. Oh no, I think I got, there we go. I was trying to, I got way too many of the cauliflower. Oh, it's dripping. I shall hold it on top of the plate. Pretty good, like pretty good, but I don't know if it's a standout and I don't know if it's like a must-have. Like the barbacoa nachos are definitely a must-have. This is, it's okay. It's The texture of the cauliflower is a little bit mushy and I like mushy cauliflower in general, but I think, you know, 
I know it's not supposed to be that way. And then the, the tzatziki, it gives it a nice like tart taste, which I actually like kind of balances it out. But yeah, it's okay. It's not the best. Would I get it again? Maybe. I would give it another try, especially because I like the vegan options. This is the vegan option. I think it's the only vegan option here. And I like to try them out. So it's pretty good. Not great. But I would try it again and maybe it would be better next time. I take back what I said about the 2319. It's it's actually pretty good. And I did give it a good stir, so it's not like murky anymore, you know? So that was user error. But it kind of gives me strawberry daiquiri vibes and I'm in to it so yes this just got ramped up oh and by the way if you don't know what 2319 is or what it means it's from monsters inc so yes i'm sorry 2319 you were actually pretty good i'm walking out of lamplight lounge and i just had to turn my camera on and show you this because i mean it's the little details right i love it so I came over to Ghirardelli because I was thinking that I would get a dessert and I'm very undecided. Do I want this one? I've never actually had it before. It's a non-dairy dessert and I love trying all the non-dairy like vegan things. It looks very good. But then also, okay, well I'll show you like the entire menu. I haven't had Ghirardelli here at Disneyland in so long. So yes, lots of things. And then this, I see that they have a Disney 100 treat. It's the Platinum Magical Sundae. Um, I mean, they always have some form of this Sunday, And you can tell that they definitely Photoshopped those sprinkles to be purple. Hmm, okay, I have some deciding to do. Do I want this? Do I want something else? I don't know. I made an executive decision not to get Ghirardelli, mainly just because, you know, my friend was like, well, it's just vanilla and, you know, hot fudge and that's it. And I was like, you're right, I'm really not thinking this through, although there would have been whipped cream. But anyway, we just forgot about that, and instead, I'm gonna get another vegan dessert over at Adorable Snowman. I'm sorry, the, the sound of the credit coaster is very distracting. <laughs> but yes, I'm gonna get another vegan dessert over here at Adorable Snowman Frozen Treats, and it's gonna be good. Everything is really good here. Look, there's a duck. There's a duck and also a, a plastic bag. Mm, that's kind of sad, but okay, look at this. I have my dessert, and by the way, the Incredicoaster is probably gonna come by any second, but this is from the, well, okay, it's right over there. Oh, we can't see it now. Anyway, this is from Adorable Snowman Frozen Treats. There it goes. We love that. And this is the chili lime mango frozen dessert. So it has frozen mango soft serve and it's vegan, which is really cool. And then they chop up some mango there and then they put it in chamoy and chili lime seasoning. And this is perfection. If you've never had it, this is wonderful. Really, really good. Obviously you can tell that I already started eating it. The reason why is because it's, well, it's really hot today. You know, it was melting and it was all over my hands and yes. Anyway, really good, I recommend it. This is the other one, and I'm so sorry I'm showing it to you in a very sad state, but hear me out, it was like really melting, it was dripping everywhere, and we had to start eating them, you know what I mean? So this is the lemon soft serve, which is also dairy-free, it's vegan, and then it has a blue raspberry juice that it's in. These are really good, they're very colorful. There was a cherry on top, so it looked a little bit better when I first got it, but so delicious, very refreshing, and ooh, is the Incredicoaster coming by again? Well, oh, there it goes, one more time. Wonderful, we love that. Oh, the duck is missing though. I had my eye on him, like out of the corner of my eye. He is missing, the plastic bag is still there. But yes, get this, if you've never had it, it is a Pixar Pier staple. Yes, I am just hanging out by the strollers right here, okay? But so good, and it's really like, it's dripping, well, okay, it was the blue one, the, the blue raspberry one, that one was dripping all over my hands. But it feels like summertime, right? But then the other thing I was gonna say is that in case you're wondering, this is basically Dole Whip. It's just different flavored Dole Whip. And I love the Dole Whip, and if you want, or if you're interested in a lemon Dole Whip or a mango Dole Whip, then get this. Really, really good. And you can get it plain on its own, but like, 
ride a coaster. But like, why would you, you know? When you can have it with all this other stuff. This is all that remains now. And yes, it is very, very green, but I was mainly eating the mango one. I ate the entire thing, okay? But I wanted to show you this area because it's not necessarily like a quiet corner, you know? It's, it's definitely not. It's actually very loud, mainly, ooh, look, ducks. I don't know why I feel the urge to, to show you ducks whenever I see them, but anyway, yes, it's not a quiet corner. As you can tell, you can hear the Incredicoaster going by, you can hear people screaming for their lives on that ride. This ride is terrifying, but there are some benches around here, and look at this. There's a whole display of some beautiful succulents that you can take in while you enjoy this, and there's also seating just like all the way around, over here, over here, over here, and so, yeah, if you're looking for a place to kind of chill on Pixar Pier. I think this is a pretty good one. Hi, Sadness. How are you? You're just doing okay? Are you kind of sad, perhaps? Yes, it's true. Where's Joy, though? You need some Joy. Where is Joy? You, oh. Sadness. I feel so sad just looking at you. You you're so pitiful almost. Oh. <laughs> I was walking through Disney Showcase as soon as I got into Disneyland and I saw that they have new merch for the Magic and Wonder, wait, no, Music and Wonder, 100 Years of Music and Wonder Collection. And I knew that they were probably gonna come out with adult clothes, but here we are. So this is a woman's hoodie and it feels so nice and plush and I love the color, don't you? It is a perfect pure lavender. And then we have Conductor Mickey right here. He is embroidered. He is so cute. Let me check the price before I forget. I bet it's 65, 60, 59, 99. And then let me show you the back. The back is great. Yes, it has the full graphic and it is, it is printed, but parts of it are embroidered. So for instance, Mickey, and then you can see the text right there, 100 years of music and wonder. I love this and it feels like so comfy. This would definitely wear in so well. And then for $39.99, they also have a women's v-neck tee here, and it does feel pretty nice, and the print is not thick whatsoever. This is amazing. And then Mickey is the only part that's actually a heat press, but he's not thick either. This feels really nice. Let me see if there's anything on the back. Oh, there's a Disney 100 logo. That's really cool. And then you get all the whimsical, swirly music notes. I never ever try on any of the sweatshirts, hoodies, or anything because I just, you know, it's too much of a bother. But because this one is a zip up, I thought I may as well. Ooh, it feels so soft and fleecy on the inside. And I am trying a, ooh, look, embroidery. There's like the Disney 100 logo right here embroidered. I got an extra small because it was the first one on the rack. I didn't think about what size I would get, but let's see. There it is, that wasn't anything exceptional, but this is actually super comfy and it is pretty oversized because the extra small fits, like I'm not an extra small, you know, but this one actually fits like very fitted. There you go. But yes, I would probably want this in like a medium or large just to be extra comfy and I really like it. I just wanted to show you this. So this is a new, but I love it. This came out in January for the Disney 100 and I think in my, ongoing pursuit of becoming a hat girl, I must get it. Like, I know I'm gonna get it. And I'm gonna try it on even though, like, I know I'm gonna get it. What do we think? I mean, it doesn't matter. I'm getting it, even if it looked bad. I just like it so much. <laughs> I've been on the hunt for these ears. So I came inside of World of Disney and it was on a hot tip from a wonderful couple that I met from Arizona. And they were like, oh, the spider gwen ears, they have them. And I was like, oh my gosh, I must run. I didn't run, you know, because, well, that's not allowed at Disneyland, but here they are. And they are so gorgeous and so fun, don't you think? First off, spider gwen, she gets the best fashion. Like I love all of her, the color of her outfit. It's fantastic. So these are the synthetic leather, but then look, they are lined in that wonderful turquoisey light blue. And then the bow is so cool. That is so amazing. And then it does have a enamel center piece right there. These are really cool. No embroidery on the actual headband, but I love them. And they're $35. For $59.99, they also have this Spider Gwen sweatshirt. I think it's really cool. It has a nice hood that is lined. And look at the print. 
Let me try to show you. I'm like not really showing you that well, but you can see right there, it looks awesome. This is pretty plush. Yeah, this is actually really comfy and I like the color blocking and then you can see the inset right here with the hot pink and the spider webs. This is awesome. I'm gonna guess it's plain on the back. Well, it's more color blocking on the back, which is really cool, but let me show you something else. Look at the kids version. This one is also so awesome. This is a zip up hoodie. Ooh, and the zipper feels pretty smooth. And then I like that it has the same color blocking. This one does feel a little bit more stiff than the adult version where it's printed, but it makes up for it because look, it has a shimmery, glittery kind of finish on the white portion. Yes, I love this. If you can fit into kids clothes, which ooh, look at the color blocking on the back too. That is exceptional, but yes, I, as a women's like small medium, I can fit into the kids large, sometimes even medium, and then XL for sure I can fit into. It's just, you know, the sleeves are a little bit shorter than typical. Okay, this is $49.99. We're in the one semi-quiet corner of World of Disney, which is like the center room, interestingly enough, where they have all the Disney 100 merch. It just doesn't get as much traffic. I think it's because all the merch is like old. This is all from January, but... I have the ears. I, okay, first off, I like, I already know I'm gonna get them. Like, I already know, but I just, I'll show them off to you so you can see what they look like. I'm very excited. <gasps> These are amazing. I feel like I need the sweatshirt, right? Like the hoodie to make the full fit. Okay, this like little clicky security thing is clicking in my ear, I'll take them off but I love these and I'm so excited. If you haven't seen the movie, you have to. It's really good. I saw this out of the corner of my eye and I was like, wait a minute, is this a new spirit jersey? But it's not. In fact, I did check like the tags like down here because usually it will have a woven spirit jersey tag. There's none. It is just a plain old sweatshirt. Let me show you the front. See, there's no like Disneyland D on the chest, but this is really nice and it kind of gives me like Christmas vibes. Oh, you know what? Blues clues. It gives me blues clues vibes, but it feels very soft and plush. And on the inside, you can see how fleecy it is. This would definitely pill and not be quite as soft after the first couple washes, but that's totally okay. I think this would wear in really well. And then of course it has the Fab Five. It has all their silhouettes. I think that is really cool. And then just to note, this is in fact like the typical spirit jersey type of print. So it's like a little bit puffy, but yeah, I love this. Today is a blessed day because I have found another pair of new mini ears and you know that's my favorite thing of course. These are actually by Loungefly and they match the Loungefly bag. I just like knocked it. Sorry bag. But yeah, okay, so check it out. The best part about this bag, I feel like, well one, I think the colors, but then two, I think it's this cool like debossed print right there. So it's animal print and it has some hidden Mickeys and then it has this snakeskin faux leather bow. So yes, this is faux leather. I like how big the bow is. And then of course I love the lounge fly plaque that's on the side. Very cool. Okay, so these are $45, which is the price for lounge fly ears. And honestly, wouldn't it be so cool to just like match around the park? Although it's kind of like loosely matching, right? Because there's no snake skin. That's okay. We like it. It's on theme. It's that time of day again. It's crow o'clock. Oh no. Oh no, there's so many. Um, usually this means that it's time for me to go, but I have one last thing I wanna do before I go. So crows, just keep at bay, please. This is the reason why we're here. We are here for the Mr. Toad premium popcorn bucket and look at him. He is so amazing and his eyes look, maybe he's like kind of staring off into space a little bit. He's not sure about what he is doing other than driving his glorious vehicle. But anyway, yeah, I'm very excited. It's very cute. Drum roll, please. Here it is. Yes, this is the Mr. Toad popcorn bucket and he is really cute, okay? Yes, he looks like he's dazed, he's confused, but that's also just who he is as a toad. And it's so cute, don't you think? There's so much detail. We love it. And then look at the strap. The strap looks so fantastic too. Okay, I love the strap actually. And then let me show you how to open it and get the popcorn in because at first I was like, oh, I don't even think there's gonna be a, an opening, but there is. Second drum roll, please. 
Ta-da! Okay, this is it. This is how you open it up. And so, yes, you could perhaps store some very important valuables in there. I don't know if that's a great idea, but still, it is in fact a functioning popcorn bucket. Oh no, okay, wait. Let me, I was gonna do a final reveal. Oh God, this is so, well, that didn't work as I planned, but ta-da, there he is. The crows are definitely still going. They're still having a grand old time hanging out around here, but yeah, I thought it would be nice to end the video over here, even though, yes, the crow well, the crows would be everywhere, right? No matter where I tried to hide, the crows would come and find me. But yeah, I thought it would be nice to kind of end it here, right in town square with all the nice cheery lights and flowers and Main Street music, you know? And I have my little toad guy right here. Oh, and you know what? Okay, I did buy two things today. So I bought the Gwen Stacy ears and I bought the Disneyland hat, the one that was black with the embroidery, like different lands on it. But Sorry, there was, a, there was a crow right above me and it kind of scared me. Oh, wow, look at this. I don't know if it's still happening, is it? Oh, yes, it is. <laughs> but anyway, um, yes, I got the Gwen Stacy ears and that hat. And I'm super excited because I am officially gonna become a hat girl. I mean, I already am a hat girl in my heart of hearts, you know? But I'm, well, really, I'm an ear girl. But yes, you're probably gonna start seeing me in hats now because I'm gonna start building up my Disney hat collection. Okay, wait, there's a hair right in front of my face. Anyway, yes, that is the video for today and I hope you guys had fun coming along with me. I know it was a pretty casual day. Also, I didn't get that much food. Oh, there was popcorn to be had when I was getting the toad popcorn bucket. Uh, they, do, they do give you popcorn, right? But yeah, that was all the food. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you, crows for being you and yeah i will catch you guys in the next one okay see ya toad and i say see ya <laughs>